Hi student, today we are going to learn about um, nervous coordination is a form 4 chapter and this chapter is quite famous. So today we are going to learn about receptor and effector. So what is receptor? Receptor is, sens is a sensory organ that detect stimuli that whatever our environment when it change we can detect, detect it when we feel cold, when we feel hot and effector are the organs that react to stimuli for example, I, I touch something cold, I want to move my hand or whatsoever so today we are going to learn about reflex action so what is a reflex action? reflex action is an automatic and fast response of the body towards external stimuli without the involvement of thinking or the cerebrum means our without the thinking or without the using of brain this reflex action is very fast it doesn't need any um, any process of thought and thinking for example when i touch something hot my hand will straight away move away why i do so because of reflex action so let's let's take a closer look at reflex action for example, this is a stimuli, a needle prickle on the hand. So the person will feel pain, right? When you when the needle poke your hand, your hand will straight away go away. You no need to think, okay, something poke my um, hand. Okay, now I feel pain. I need to move my hand away. No, you just do that um, naturally. Why? Because of reflex action. When we receive stimuli, and then our receptor will detect the pain, and then the impulse will travel to sensory organ and then it will travel to the synapse and then to relay neuron after that it will go to motor neuron and then it will go to muscle cells which also is called the effector and then our hand move away from the needle or for example our hand move away from something hot or something too cold to protect ourselves so these are the example of question that the exam might ask. For example, what is reflex action? The exam might ask can explain um, picture A where the person touch the kettle that is hot, the person move away. So you need to explain point by point like what I say in the um, what I say just now. For example, you say the person hand feel pain, they receive a stimuli of a needle poke onto the hand and then the receptor will transfer the impulse to sensory organ and you will go through the process so it will carry around 4-5 marks if it be, this question is being asked in exam so for example the question in exam might ask you what is x what is y so the outside layer is white matter and inside this layer is gray matter these are just something common that you should remember so basically um, that's it there are a few examples for example, the question asks, what are the examples of reflex action? For example, you need to say that um, your hand move away from something hot or your knee will jerk when um, a person takes something and knock on your knee, your knee will jerk up, right? And or coughing, and uh, coughing when you cough, it, 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 it is considered as reflex action or the constriction of pupil when you look at something bright, okay? So these are example of reflex action um, not to be confused that um, I haven't teach about um, another thing is like called the action like our heartbeat all this is called involuntary action our heartbeat is involuntary action Digest digestive system is involuntary action so these are involuntary you cannot control it but not to um, be confused by reflex action, okay? So make sure you are not confusing, not confused about involuntary action and reflex action because reflex action is something that we reflex towards the stimuli. Involuntary action is like in our body, our digestive system, how it works. We do not need to think about it, but it still happens. So um, hopefully you won't be confused. We are going to learn this in the next um, video. And Another thing we need to learn is kinesthetic sensors. So what are kinesthetic sensors? It's the, um, the limb, it contains at our muscle, our joint ligament. So that when we move our hand, we know that actually, we know our hand is moving. I'm jumping or, or I'm sitting down or whatsoever. So these sensors are very good because it can help us to comb our hair, it can help us to tie our shoelace without thinking 
Why? Because of kinesthetic senses. We can sense that our hands, our limbs are moving. So, um, yeah, so this is good. It will, it's very sensitive towards muscle tension. For example, if the question asks you, um, which person that need kinesthetic senses the most or what person that always use kinetic senses the most? The answer will be the blind person because the blind person, they cannot see. They must use kinesthetic senses to walk, go to bathroom, um, holding thing, going to the lift. All these things is just by kinetic senses which is totally awesome and amazing. So, yep. So basically, um, this is for today's video. So if you have any question, you can post at the comment below. I see you at the next video. Thank you. Bye.